Hello, it is way number like 44 or something. Uh, I'll get the number accurate when I upload this video. I'm not really even sure anyone watches. Are you out there? Do you care? Leave me a comment if you care. So, last week my husband's off, stepson, so everything's a little quirky. But that's okay. Whatever. So, Monday I did weigh in, just didn't post a video. And I weighed in at 208, which is amazing and a miracle and crazy. Uh, which means like I lost like six or seven pounds. Then the next day, I weighed in at 206. 206. Like technically, some months I could actually hit 199. I mean, I might have to do a mini fuel cycle next week because I really kind of want to seek 199 before uh, I ovulate again. Uh, which kind of makes that whole process really awkward because I would really love to hit 199 before we start again. So, you know, I would really, at this point, I'm under 210. I would love to kind of be 199 before we start that process again so I don't know I'll have to feel it out and I might actually think of doing a mini fuel cycle next week I don't do real fuel cycles if you will follow from healthy mama because a mini fuel cycle alone is hard with me nursing I couldn't imagine three days of just PRS's or two days or one day like full day um, I just I can't so Last week, how'd last week go? My husband got off keto for a week, and uh, I did a mini fuel cycle last week because I ate a lot of off plan foods the week before, so I kind of guilt tripped myself on that, and it was like a great day. Uh, I stayed like pretty much on plan like 90% of the time. I did not count points. I'm not counting points this week. It just didn't feel like it. It's daunting to think. I mean, what would be a pregnancy like starting at 210? What would be a pregnancy like starting at 199? I know numbers on scale because I don't feel like I look any different. I'm still an obese person. And next week, if I can remember it, I'll show you pictures of when I was looking like just an overweight person. I don't feel like I'm there yet. So, I don't know. It's going to be something to think about. So, all in, I probably wasn't talking about that. I think I was talking about food now. Sorry, I thought I would last pause this talking about the fact that this was the cycle we were supposed to start trying again. And I don't, I don't know about that now. But, food wise, we did a lot of meals. Gumbo, chicken fried, uh, double fried chicken rice from uh, Trim and Healthy Table, and a couple other ones I can't think of. But plus we had a couple S meals just because, you know, hey, everyone likes that. Uh, so, husband's back on keto this week, so there's that. So, last night was an S meal, was, um, something, I can't remember. Tonight, I'm making the dreamy lasagna from Trim Healthy Table. So, that's why I keep pausing, because I'm cooking. And baby issues. Dog issues, too. But, other than that, last week I did not go on any walks. On Saturday, I felt like my back was hurt again, like it did a month ago. So, I made sure Sunday was definitely a rest day. Saturday, I did do one work-ins. But, um, after that, I uh, iced it. I profaned it. And it feels better, but I'm still kind of leery on exercising. Actually, the last three days, I have really been terrified and really not wanting to exercise. Plus, at the same time, I'm bored of it and um, I'm scared of it because I don't want to hurt my back like that again. And uh, so, and I got sick Monday trying to work out. And I don't know if that's like blood sugar issues because from Google, 
that's not a symptom of hypoglycemia, but my husband was like, that's probably why you got sick. Um, by nursing and that makes my blood sugar go crazy with S-mills sometimes uh, most of the times I'm fine but it was a very light s I believe but also it could have been uh, the leftovers who knows so I threw all those leftovers out and fed the eggs to the dog because I also put eggs in my salad so I've already scheduled my bar class for this week um, that's about it Oh, uh, last week I got my prime. Uh, I've got my prime day bills. I'll pause it and show you. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see. You'll have seen it. So I mean, I did go to two classes last week. I went to bounce, uh, bounce bar. Which, if you have a bar studio available, if you've ever done bar, bounce bar is exceedingly different and difficult. I mean, it's not impossible. But you're now trying to do all those balancing exercises on one foot on a springy, cushioned surface. And it's so hard. I was hoping, you know, with my hormones and everything, that a little extra cardio would um, maybe get some water weight gone. I also was doing the mini fuel cycle or the day after. Oh my God, stop! Babies trying to pull all the dinners down. It's still cooking, but I have all the plates made. He's not happy. So I did bounce bar and I did bounce uh, to uh, regular bar on Friday. And um, I did uh, physique 57. I did I think fluidity intermediate and maybe something else, but I can't remember. Off the my no walks last week. We started our walks yesterday. And today we did walk runs. The dog's pulling me in the base. So yeah, this is a really quick one. I don't really have anything else to say other than um, oh, I was going to show you my Prime Day deals. Hold on. So my Trim Healthy Mama Prime Day deals was ten dollars for this uh, unflavored ISO Pure brand whey protein isolate. Ten dollars. Uh, the now brand I get. It is like 1.2, 1.4 or something for not 21 or 19 dollars or something like that. So that's an incredible deal. I got a six pack of these for like 15 dollars. Uh, Miracle noodles. Um, I don't know if it's actually cheaper than Sherry the the other noodles I get in the store, but now I have a pack plus one I kind of cut, so I need to have some uh, ramen noodles or something in the near future. I put it in another ziploc bag and put it in the fridge. $20 for collagen for more than a pound, like a pound and point, 1.2 point or something of 18 ounces. I think that's like one point something in a pound. So that's $20. I mean, yeah, that's like $45, $45 or so of stuff of special ingredients. But I've only just now, from the pound I got at $21 a few months ago, just now getting to the bottom of that. And I try not to use my protein powder a lot. And it's $2 for unflavored whey isolate is an amazing deal. It was 3 a.m. and I was having um, way bad insomnia. So I was like, hey. I mean, I got some things for the kids. I got some Christmas presents. And um, that's about it. Uh, I also found oolong at Bargain Hunt. And it's actually really good oolong. I can use two bags for a whole uh, super uh, mason jar. So that's one good thing. I've got to go. Bye. -bye. See you next week. If you have any NSVs, pop them down there. I got one last week. Uh, she'll, uh, the owner of the bar not saw me last here. week. He's not here. And she was blown away with how much weight I've lost. Um, but the thing is, since I first met her, I've gotten to that point where you can see it's in my body visibly. So it's not really much. I don't think, and I'm still feel like I'm in a really awkward size-wise. Like some of my shirts don't fit, nothing really fits. My pants fit, but hey, collarbones, woo, and my bras don't fit. Everything, nothing fits right. Especially like some of my shirts be like this, like falling off me. But yeah, that's what. That's it. Nothing much. But.
If you have any NSVs, pop them down below. That's my cat. He's saying hello. Bye. See you next week. Cheese.